lad. <laughs> when I was a wee boy. When I was a wee lad. <laughs> <laughs> right, so how did you get into you setting up your first website? Um, so it started because you couldn't get the tackle anymore. You couldn't get all the LRF stuff. So Berkeley, Asomi, and uh, Eco Gear Aqua, they were really hard to get all the special dish rasa. So it started from that. So I started looking, found some stuff, set up a little big cartel website, and, um, and just found it interesting looking for the stuff and we went from there. So how did that ramp up to where we are now? So it was mainly because people kept asking me repeatedly to find other things that they used to use. So uh, eat the um, eco gear, jig heads, the little jig heads with a little fish face on. You get in the boxes now. Uh, Shirazu fine. That's under Shirazu fine, yeah. So I'm no good with names, so you're going to have to leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it went from there, and then the wonderful world of Japanese tackle and found all sorts, absolutely all sorts. And then just looking at the rods, the reels. I had a couple of I mean, a couple of people who were obsessed with reels yeah, yeah. and rods. I and understand some of that. Anything Japanese. <laughs> so these two bought tons of me. Yeah. Pass like bullets. And it just got that fluttering motion on the way down on the yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I like a Maki Maki lure. It's got a little blade on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite. So we and then Nathan came up with this lure that he really liked and thought he'd like to put himself in this. Just a little uh, intro to himself. Oh, no. <laughs> Like a little day with TG jig heads. Yeah. You know That's, That's me. What's in your box? <laughs> yeah. He likes magbite booty shakes. He, he does. He's been using them all morning actually. Oh, he loves a booty, bit of booty. Loves a booty shake. Yeah. There you go then. He's been using them this morning. Yeah. yeah. So Lee, what's your favourite lure? <sighs> I don't have a favourite necessarily lure, I have favourite profiles, so I like a really small paddle tail, slimline paddle tail, mm. uh, anything from Eco Gear really, so yeah. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Um, Duo I'll... Tetra do a really good paddle tail, but the um, Magbite uh, paddle tail, I think it's called, is it a Stan? And it's, maybe it's a Stan or something like that. No, it's called the Chucky. Yeah, yeah. It's got the Chucky and it's got um, a ribbed tail underneath so it's like slotted underneath so it gives a really good flutter effect apparently then it, it creates the, the wobble, sideways right? as well as the the wobble and the sideways yeah so i really like the bull tail so um like obviously story. everyone's into the eco gear stuff but the eco gear shirazoo's dead lethal um, and i think it's to, largely to do the bull tail so even like today i'm going unscented i spent most of my time using the equivalent uh, unscented version right. from the pocket in kit um and then yeah, normally on a jig head, I'm a proud method to fish as a jig head or a cheb, but um, I really like the Eco Gear jig heads, yeah. I've got loads of those, and I really like those Diewood TGs as well, so I've been using the yeah. three gram ones you got me a couple yeah. weeks back today, and um, a couple of the two grams as well. They're great with um, easy, easy, what you use now, you said. Shiners. Easy shiners, key tech. Yeah, they're really good, those. Cool. But, um, but what, what I've realised with this, this shop was quite clunky. It was using big cartel e-commerce which isn't very good because it's designed for artwork one-off pieces so it's always been a clunky sort of thing to use and it doesn't help you can't um, navigate very well through the website you can't create variants in the same way so the Shopify move is, is was needed it's a big stepper and uh, there we go some of those Magbite Kua Kua yeah it's got Kua Kua written on there somewhere you can read Japanese. Yeah. And then those those are good. The Bob likes to do when he gets to town. <laughs> 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 it's like a he likes to vacuum his rig. <laughs> what else you got there, mate? You'll be surprised what I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. Oh those die was are nice. <laughs> yeah, he could get serious that's what I was talking about, yeah. So those paddle tails are good though. You see those the day works, they're, yeah. they're good paddle tails. Yes, yeah, so that's my favourite jig heads. I like the twos and the threes. Yeah. But... The cool. do one called the do one called an extreme. Yeah. It's the black do one boy head with little yellow or gold spots on it. Yeah. And it's it's got like the same hook profile as the 
um, 34 Kamame jig head, which is like quite long shank and then a, a really narrow gauge. They're really good for booty shakes, they're really good jig heads for booty shakes. Nathan's been fishing with a jig head today. Nathan, what's that jig head? It's gone. But he's been fishing with it. He said it's a dye where it's got the eye on the side of it. That yeah, looks really same, smart as well. Same, yeah, yeah that'll be like those. It's, that uh, cool. it's um, the it's the two two ship. Uh, I always get it round strong. What's the, uh, the, the 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 same range as those ones, but they've got an eye again. What's the eyes on? Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, they're from the uh, you know that rod you used to have that little RF rod that you sold to oh. Neil. So one thing I wanted to ask about is the lines, obviously you've got a few different lines now yeah. and I've bought just about every kind of line I can think of now at home, I don't use anything apart from braid and I don't really understand the different types of lines and why and when you might use them, so that might be something we want to talk yeah. for a little bit. So um, obviously braid is a great good, great all round and scratching line and straight down you get a lot of sensitivity off that with a, with a fluorocarbon to help you with the rocks and so on. But also um, reasonably good for casting nowadays, especially especially the Torre Super PE, Super Light PE. It's really good, really good for casting, and then it's great just for scratching. But that's a really good one. You use that, don't you? Quite a lot. I like that one. The uh, obviously the Sunline Small Game is is nice, bright and pink, but I don't find it lasts that long. The it colour or the line itself? The line itself. It, it wears, it goes, it loses the pinkness, but also that's showing it's wearing. Yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> well, it's, it's a good line, but I do think that Torre is a better line and it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the braid, certainly from a LRF point of view. The, um, the this shins here is, I've got it on my, um, on my really. That's not going to happen. Go on, it? get it out. <laughs> got a pill for that. Hey, no, mate, pick mine up. I've got, got it on this reel way. that's down here. <laughs> <laughs> so what? what it's really, really good. It's really, really, really good. So it's ester coated in nylon. So you get the the bite detection with ester because it's got very little stretch. But then you get the nylon, which gives you the abrasion resistance, and also it's because well. it's because it's nylon. It cast, it's less supple, it doesn't hold the memory. So yeah. the one thing with Esther, it holds its memory. It's a, <clears> and <throat> with that, when you cast, you can end up with the loops coming out and yeah. getting tangled. So there's been a fad, I think, probably about two, two and a half years now with Esther. And I'll be honest, I've put it on a reel. I found it hard to actually keep it on the reel yeah. without using it, so I've never used it just because I thought, well, that's on a reel now, I'm going to put that reel in the cupboard and yeah. never use it because it just it looks like it's it, going to be horrible. But It holds its memory. So when you're casting off the spool, it the the, the, the line the line after the, the, the line that's after the one that's going yeah. wants to go with it. So it's constantly trying to get it off. Yeah, yeah. It's just purely because of that the memory. I have fished alongside people using those. So I fished alongside Morris Brixham a couple of years ago, and I found he was able to cast further than braid, which was insane. Yeah. But so it did seem very very good for that sort of application. But I found the um, the 34 one pinky, it's called. That's a good one. Uh, that seems to be the best that I've tried and I've tried three or four um, but um, yeah don't use it for anything but casting yeah obviously we don't want to tell people not to use it I think people are going to want to use it but like I think it's just I've well I said I've got some I've bought some actually no Nathan gave me some because Nathan didn't want to use it <laughs> yeah. I, I, and then I, I haven't wanted to use it either I, but yeah I do think the Shinsei is sort of is better so yeah, yeah. It, it gives you a bit more flexibility it's easier to use it's got the same it just doesn't have with Esther um, you know it's, it's it's a little stretchier than Esther because it's nylon with Esther as a core so it's still got a little bit of stretch but it's it's quite small yeah it's faster. and do you ever use fluoro straight through? sorry? have you used fluoro straight through? no I've never used fluoro because it stretches too much I think yeah I don't, I don't think it's got a, personally I don't think it's got a place in LRF because it's, there's, there's very little bite detection. I like it only for where I'm fishing right under my feet, for that yeah. simple reason that I can tie a drop shot straight onto my line. But the Shinsei is yeah, exactly yeah. the same, and the Shinsei gives you the bite detection, so why would you go with the blue cabin when the, because the when Shinsei is about the same price? Yeah, so, because when I used to fish that method, Shinsei wasn't really a thing yeah. over here at the moment. But... 
Well, I use I use one spool that's got shinsei, one spool that's got braids. And yeah, yeah. Fluorocarbon tip. You can obviously put fluorocarbon on the end of the shinsei, but you I don't need bother. to. Yeah. I don't bother. I don't think it makes any difference. I mean, today I've had just as many bites as people next to me with braid and fluorocarbon, so I don't think it makes a lot of difference. You know. So that that's for me with the with the with the uh, if I was those are now. So what, what products are you most excited about selling? What sort of... So I like the Magbike range, I kind of like the Zester range, those two are really good. But 34, any that you can charge a 40% mark on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going in. That's just anything on, man. Yeah. What about you, Kev? What do you like to fish with at the moment? Um, if I'm honest, my favourite lure is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Zester Afterburn. Without a doubt, um, pass like bullets. Um, it just got that fluttering motion on the way down on the yeah, yeah. And it's just something about them. Um, box is full of them, every colour I can find. But say, John, my next question is going to be do you care about the colour or not? Or? Um, depends on what I'm fishing for and what over. Um, and it would depend on what bait fish I can already see yeah, yeah. in the water, whether it be sand dunes or smell or the pollock or anything like that and I'll match the hatch if you like with whatever I've got that's that's closest and then wind dictate weight and depth and stuff like that. But yeah the tests are after that type of thing. Then well, mag white boot shake. Yeah soft plastic well mag white boot shake. You use the handboard ones as well are you? Sorry? Are you using the handboard ones? Uh, I haven't actually used the handboard ones yet. Um, to me, I couldn't really see there was a great deal of difference in them. It's got the flat top on it. I could it's be different, completely yeah. wrong. Um, but, so it's got a slightly uh, different shape. It's got the yeah. flat top. Um, I used them the other day for power. I'm guessing I have the same result with the other one, I reckon. But for the power, I was getting smashed a bit from the power the other day. But I worked. Them. I used, used them when we were on Halden. I used uh, the white on, and they absolutely sucked, smashed by the power. Because they've got a longer profile than the booty right. shake, a longer thinner profile, so I mean I don't think they're anything like a booty shake personally. No, the tail's bigger as well, so it's like a similar shaped tail but it's bigger, so you've got more of an action on the tail so as well. like elongated diamond shape. That's it, yeah, yeah. Tail on their back. And that's what I quite liked about them, especially scratching in around rocks and things yeah. like that. So there's the, that's the, that's the hand pause, and there's a the booty shake. Ah, right, okay. So the, the, they've got like a, a flat top to them. I actually see it better on this one though. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's so the colour I've got, yeah. See, you you look at that, and then you look at... They're round, aren't they? They're really round. Yeah, and then you look at this. Is that the top or the bottom? Well, it depends where you rig it, obviously, mm. but... Yeah, so you look at them compared, obviously different sizes, but... They're round with a with that thing, and these have got like that flat because it's hand paw. It's yeah, pawed in the end of it. Exactly. There's a few there's a few different bass lures that have got a similar sort of profile <laughs> with a flat top. Yeah. And I was asking a question on the forum before, people were saying depending on how they're fishing and what they want to fish, they'll fish it one way up or the other. So it can be sort of fished yeah. both ways. But yeah, I can imagine like that flat bottom twitching them yeah. along the deck would be yeah. yeah let's just sit on the bottom of that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that, what about yourself, Bob? Do you got any favourites? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a Maki Maki lure, it's got a little blade on the back of it. <laughs> That's my favourite. So we are going to um, have to cut in some video of uh, what the Maki Maki lure is, because none of us remember what it's called. But you got one, have you? Do you say it's the higher booster, is that? It's a higher booster, yeah. Did you want to get, did you want to sell those? I do sell them. I've got some packets. It's got a little blade at the back of it. That's it. Is that it? No. 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 You need a prettier lure sure. box because that's a grotty. It's grotty, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. I've got a grotty box, Johnny. Johnny's now I want to go in there. Johnny's grotty. Now I want a stupid little box. Don't oh, look at me filthy box. It's nothing. <laughs> These are the cases to have though. When they look nice and neat, like like this one that I don't open much. Look at that. That's just porn. <laughs> and, and oh here's he's the he's my favourite jigger. So 
So what's this one called? So that, that's the uh, Magbite Bladed Jig Head. MTB07. I can remember numbers. And what would you be using that for? What so all magnets? you you gurnered, absolute gurnered magnets. You put on anything on the on there. I like the two inch Asomi, um, Berkeley Asomi worm. So it's thicker body, but it's only about this long. But because of the the way it's sat, it sits up like like that, you know. A bit like a cheb, yeah. Not cheb, um, a bit like a um, what are they called mushroom head. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it sits Ned, up like, like a Ned rig, like Ned rig, yeah. yeah. It sits up like that, you've got your lure sticking straight up, and then obviously when you bounce it, you get that nice flicker from the blade. Yeah, I can see why the Gurner would be yeah, onto those. The Gurner love them. I reckon they'd be quite good in Charleston for the um, weavers as well. Yeah. But There's the. Um, that's the one. That's the extreme. So that's that, the Daiwa one, yeah? Daiwa. That's the Daiwa one, and that's the. That's the 34 Kamami. You see the same profile. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a brilliant one. The smallest, you know. They're, they're, they're the they're the smallest jig head, I think, for hook wise. What's the name of the new website? So it's. Hang on, pause because I forgot. <laughs> Again. Uh, so what's the name of the new website? So the new website coming soon is Johnny Lurfer LRF. Dot. <laughs> I don't know. Is it .co.uk? <laughs> so what's the name of the new website? So the new website, uh, which was, uh, you know, kindly engineered by yours truly, um, is called Japan Johnny... No, it's called Johnny Lurfer. <laughs> right, www.johnnylurferlrf.co.uk Fantastic. Don't forget it, kids. <laughs>